Good morning, Wayne Hills, and will you please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's Thursday, June 11th, and a day two on a rotating block schedule. Here's a message from the art teacher, Mrs. Peller, regarding the National Art Honor Society. Hi, Wayne Hills. It's Ms. Peller, um, art teacher and co-advisor of the National Art Honor Society. Now, some of you may know about the National Art Honor Society, or NAHS, and some of you might not. Um, our school currently has about 60 members in the nationally recognized organization. It is an honor society and what we do is a lot of community service projects. Um, like yearly, we do a collection of toys that goes to the Passaic County Casa during the winter months around the holidays. Another thing that we do around the holidays is we decorate the main office as well as guidance, the nurse's office, and uh, it's something that's enjoyed by people at the school and visitors to the school. We also do fun activities. Um, we've done paint, painting of pumpkins in the fall season, and we like to hand them out to teachers and other staff members. And um, National Art Honor Society is something that any second year art student, so a student that is in drawing and painting or above, is eligible to submit a portfolio for. So in the fall, we will be giving instructions to students who are in drawing and painting, uh, again, their second year of an art class at Wayne Hills. Um, it's something that is really fun, and it's also a great opportunity for you to be a part of something that's at our school. So. One thing that we always do with NAHS is we hold a school-wide art show where students and staff are able to see the art show during school hours in the media center. And some of you have probably been to it before and maybe you went with your English class or one of your language classes and you were given an assignment related to it. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, we were unable to hold our annual art show, which is unfortunate because it's a big deal for our members to be able to show off their artwork to not only the school community, but also their friends and parents and family members who come to the nighttime gallery. So what we've been doing instead is um, our art department actually has an Instagram account, which is at WHHS Art. And while it is dedicated to all of the classes and all of the students in the art program, we have been showcasing our National Art Honor Society student art for the past month or so um, in order to give them a chance to get their artwork seen by people who would usually see it at the art show. So we would love for more people to follow the account because not only is it a way for you to see artwork by our National Art Honor Society students, but it's also a nice way to keep up to date with what the art department is doing. And another way that you can see what our students are always working on is through Artsonia, which is an online art gallery. And the link to our school's Artsonia account is in the bio for um, our Instagram account. And one great thing about Artsonia is anything that you see that you like, you can actually buy a print, you can buy um, a phone case or anything else with maybe your friend's artwork on it. And what's cool about that is our school gets some of that money that's made from that. And we put all of that money back into our art program, into supplies or um, other things that we might be missing out on because we ran out of it or we wanna try a new project. 
So I hope you guys all check out at WHHS Art on Instagram and uh, follow us for more uh, art related content. Thank you and I hope you guys are all doing well and safe at home. Ms. Peller. Today is the last day to cast your votes for student council officers and representatives. The race for senior student council officers is uncontested, but remember to vote for sophomore and junior class officers and select 10 reps for your class via Google Forms in your social studies classes. Here are the candidates for the sophomore and junior year officers. Hi Patriots, this is Olivia Lamb. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Since I have a lot of time now, I wanna show you a recipe I've perfected. Here's how to make the perfect student council treasure. First, put two cups of commitment and leadership blended into a bowl. Then add one cup of hard work. Then two eggs worth of excellent grades and sportsmanship. And finally, one third cup of creativity. While I mix it together, let me tell you some things about myself. I'm going to be a sophomore in the fall and am running for student council treasurer. If I get your vote, I plan to connect teachers and students to bring about a sense of togetherness. My goal is to always be someone you can talk to and depend on. And now we're going to put the recipe in the oven. So this is the final result on how to make the perfect student council treasurer. Please make sure to vote for me and know that your thoughts are worth more than a penny. So this is how to... <laughs> and I'm running for student council treasurer. Instead of wasting your time by listing my extracurriculars, saying cheesy quotes, and generic statements about my character, I'll make it simple. I'm committed to thinking of new and innovative ideas to raise money for causes that we as a student body are passionate about. I promise to make events like prom, formal, and spirit week the best that they can be. After the long, hard year that we've been through, let's make some memories and let's make up for it. Vote Deanna Gaber for treasurer. Hello, my name is Andrew Daly, and I am running for Vice President of the Freshman Student Council, soon to be sophomores. Last year, I was a representative for the freshmen, and I also participated in many sports, including football, lacrosse, and wrestling. I will be a good candidate for the job because I am a natural leader, and I want to make our activities as fun as possible, including junior formal, prom, and spirit week. Thank you. Hello there. My name is Lazel Carlo, and I'm running for vice president. Why should I vote for you, you may or may not be asking? Well, I should be vice president for three key reasons. I have experience being in student council, I have experience being in a position of leadership, and my communication skills. I was in student council all three years of middle school this year, and I always actively participate in it. I was the first student event coordinator at Schuyler Colfax, which was my officer position in eighth grade and I'm open and welcome to talking and working with people. I hope I can count on your vote. I'm not lazy, I'm Lazel. Vote me to be your VP. Good morning, I'm Ina Rivera and I am running for class president. If you do not know much about me, I would describe myself as a kind, helpful, reliable, and positive person that enjoys making others laugh. I am grateful that I had the opportunity to be a student representative on the student council this year. Being a part of the student council has opened my eyes to the amount of work and dedication it takes to put things together in order to benefit the students of Wayne Hills. I have been taught many things from seeing what goes on as a student council member and I am honored to have been a part of this experience. Now I know that if I am president of the class of 2022, I will achieve further greatness and success. Everyone's voice matters to me. I will do everything in my power to address and respond to everyone's concerns. I know life is not easy and I know firsthand what it is like to be faced with struggles and overcome them. Unity is important, which has been shown to us in many more ways than one during these difficult times. Therefore, I also strongly believe that having a positive community is significant. You can be confident that I will always do what is best for our class, and know that as president, you can always count on me to get the job done. For example, remember Spirit Day this year we had no girl representing the class in the pie eating contest? Even though I do not like pies, I knew our class had to be represented. I stepped up and joined the contest and ate that pie like it was the best thing in the world. It takes many things to be a true leader, courage, fairness, and strength, and I possess all these qualities. I hope everyone's family and loved ones are staying safe, healthy, and happy during these times of difficulty. Thank you for listening. Forget what you heard. Vote Eden for president. Spread the word. Hi, everyone. My name is Grace O'Neill, and it would be an honor if I could be your president for another year. There are a few points I'd like to cover, one of them being I'm very passionate about this position. I genuinely love all that I do in student council, from organizing fundraisers to planning formals. 
Another point I'd like everyone to keep in mind is that I have the experience. I know all the work this takes, and frankly it's a lot, which is important because over the next two years, the responsibility of student council only gets harder. Since I spoke to you last, I've been able to add to my leadership skills by becoming a co-captain for two teams, including Relay for Life and March of Dimes. Being a student council has also made me realize how much I love helping people. After high school, I'm hoping my experience as president will help me in the political world so that one day I can make a difference greater than these past two years and hopefully the next two. I'm so thankful for this position, and I promise you I'm really dedicated to put my all in this. I'd love to help our class and make it better by being your voice, and I really hope you can help me continue doing that. I'd also like to thank all of you and the current student council for all the hard work we've put in this year. President or not, I will always be proud to be a part of this amazing class. I hope everyone is staying healthy, happy, and safe during these times. Thank you again. I'm sure you guys all know who I am by now, hopefully, but I think it is important to continue my tradition of opening my speech as, Hello class of 2022. My name is not G2, nor is it G3, but she won song. I am here today to kindly ask for your vote as making me your third year student vice president. Our class of 2022 here at Wayne House have been quite successful in the past two years. For example, we placed second as underclassmen not only once, but twice. This was only possible with the effort of the whole entire grade. This year, we have the upcoming junior formal. If re-elected, I will continue to take every single one of your ideas and concerns into consideration. I've realized that our grade is much more stronger and more successful if we work as one whole student body. With the experience of the past two years as a student vice president, I've learned to become a better leader and fellow classmate. Therefore, I'd like to continue to bring the class of 2022 closer by leaving no voice unheard. I hope that every single one of you guys are staying safe and doing well, and I can't wait to see you guys back in September as juniors. I think it is quite necessary to end my speech with, make me a G1 and not a G loss and vote me as your student vice president. Thank you. Hey guys, it's me on Ho. I'm sure most of you know me, but if you don't, I'm your fellow classmate and hopefully your future vice president. I love to travel, watch movies, bake treats, and make TikToks. For this year's election, I am running to be your vice president for a junior year. I can't believe we're entering into our second to last year of high school together. Now that we're juniors, student council is working around the clock to plan our formal activities. For the past two years, our class has been raising thousands of dollars together during Spirit Week, fundraising every opportunity we get, and student council has been planning fun activities. I want to assure every person listening to this that I am dedicated and committed to every aspect of student council. Whether it's staying at school until 8 p.m. to finish your Spirit Week posters or coming to school at 6 a.m. to collect cans. I will focus on giving students fun activities and events to look forward to while helping the community at the same time. With the recent events of the coronavirus, this is a perfect time to come together as a community and help the less fortunate. I truly do hope that this year we can fundraise even more and help several families in Wayne. I plan to work alongside with the rest of my members to make Wayne Hills a safe and loving space that participates in many community outreach programs. I hope every single one of you is doing well during this quarantine. Please stay safe and don't say no. Vote for Anho. I can't wait for you to come. This has been Koshik saying, have a great day, Wayne Hills, for the last time. Thank you for watching me for the past two years and watching me during this pandemic. So I'll catch you on the beach and someone will be with you tomorrow.